Uh, what's up, Low Rider family? Welcome back to another episode on Lolos and More. Uh, and as you can tell, I'm at a car show right now, uh, handing out flyers to my car show. Uh, been here for a little bit now. Uh, I came with like 300 flyers, and we're not even halfway done to the show yet. It's a car show that benefits a, a what's it called? A scholarship towards uh, Clackamas Community College over here in Oregon. So, you know, some nice rides. So, uh, let me pass all these out, finish passing them out, and uh, we'll get today's video started. See you guys back at the garage. What's up, Lowrider family? So now we are back at the garage. Um, all right. So by the by the, the title of the video, whatever done here, you can tell what we're already gonna do and what we're gonna do with these parts. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get straight into it. Um, I've been prepping these parts for the past couple days, not spending too much time on them. But right now I'm gonna go ahead and do everything. Um, I wasn't going to show the prep process, but since I got a couple more parts to take care of, I'm going to just tell you what I'm doing with those parts. Um, for you, for that, those that know, I drive a 93 Dodge Dakota. They don't make any aftermarket parts for my truck. No chrome valve covers, no chrome parts to dress up the motor, nothing. I have to get everything custom uh made or or chrome taken off the motor and chromed i mean that's what i'm going to do with this spare motor i'm going to make sure that whatever i can get polished whatever i can get chrome or powder coated really well i'm going to do it but of course i can't powder coat the big block in that little stove but at least i can do everything else so um i got my kit over here I got my plugs, I got my high temperature t uh, tape, I got my powders, um, in this video I think I'm only going to use my, the chrome, powder, powder chrome, and I need to set up my powder gun real quick, so, and this is, and I got the dual voltage from Eastwood, so, and the purpose for that is that uh, you can get smaller, um, you can do smaller pieces, you can do larger pieces, or if you have large pieces that have um, areas where you can't get powder in all that well, then you use the low voltage. That's my understanding. So, um, after the show, I went to Harbor Freight and picked up some stuff. I picked up... Um, a coupling to add this oil water separator and I brought the little spray gun filter to prevent any moisture coming whatever's coming from the air compressor so I'm gonna put all that together I'm uh I left my stuff outside overnight so I need to take a wire wheel real quick to that I need to take a wire wheel to that it's almost done and um, I got this piece degreasing right now, and I got my springs, um, I spray paint stripper on them, so that's doing its magic. So as I get the other stuff ready and, and you know, in the process, this should be done by the time, I should be done with the other pieces by the time these are ready to be powder coated. So let me, um... Let me just uh, prep everything that I need to take care of, and we'll be right back. And another thing that I have to do, which is probably going to be a little annoying, is since I don't have an outlet for the stove, I'm going to have to take out that outlet and put in this outlet right here for the stove because I put that in for my plasma cutter so I can make it work so uh, let me I gotta do all this 
and we'll be back. I got a lot to do in a short amount of time. Because I'm trying to make sure that my truck makes it to my own car shop. It right now is, as you guys can tell, it's completely, it's, the front is taken apart. The parts of the motor's out. And I still need to plumb my hydraulics back in the truck. And I'm still test fitting the stuff. Because I kind of screw up on a couple measurements. So a pump sits higher than what I intended to. So, whatever. Let me set this up get that ready and then um i'm gonna just do a uh take the wire wheel to this and to those real quick and that's it the prepping process i mean you can use any I mean, if you got rust they have chemicals to get rid of rust or you can just use a, a wire wheel personally the wire wheel is way faster than paint stripping and rust chemicals. Wire wheel is the way to go. So I used some rust chemical on those rough edges right there on the drums and ended up leaving white residue. So now I got to do extra cleaning. And once that is ready, once I got them, you know, cleaned, I'll just take some prep ball real quick, rub it on. And we can start powder coating. I'm not going to show too much like I was hoping to. Um, there is a lot of videos on how to powder coat on YouTube. So I recommend watching those. I am on a you know deadline type deal. Because um, as of this video, when this video drops, I got five days to put my truck back together and paint it. Believe it or not, I started wet sanding my truck, which I regret right now because i don't know if that's going to be done so uh let me let me let me get everything set up real quick and, and change that i'll be right back okay <clears throat> so i got the heat the oven working it's preheating to 450 right now um every powder from different manufacturers is different so they recommend um different temperatures to preheat the oven and then temperature different temperatures uh while the piece is in there um so uh i i got i got my gun set up here like i was showing you guys telling you guys earlier i got a little filter and a little separator there you know can never be too careful i've seen people where they've had like five of these little filters on um, on their air tools and it's it's okay it doesn't hurt so um, I've been practicing using this thing. Um, one thing about uh, powder coating, you don't want to fill up that bottle all the way because if you do, then it clunks up the gun. Um, I didn't do that mistake. Uh, I've just learned that from watching YouTube. You know, just like how you guys are watching my YouTube videos, you guys learn. Got to learn on YouTube University. Uh, you pretty much fill it up a quarter, an eighth to a quarter of the way. That's it on the bottle that's provided to you with whatever powder coat gun setup you get. So hopefully you guys know that. So like I did say, I did already do some parts. So here how they look. They look freaking great. Um, it, they're freaking cool. They look so nice. This one's still really hot. The other one is cool to the touch already. Looks really nice. You know. And the reason why I'm doing powder coat is cheap and it looks pretty close to chrome. I know it looks kind of dull, but hey, it's powder coat. And um uh what was I gonna say? And since you know I like to go ham on my truck. If I scrape powder coat, I'm okay. If you know, if I have my stuff chromed, I'd be pissed because it's chrome is expensive to get done. It is expensive. So these parts are done. Uh, just cooling down. The oven is ready for the next items. Next items are the valve covers for my truck. Um, so this is how it looks. 
when the powder has been applied, it looks gray. And it's been working awesome so far, so. And if you, if you screw up, like for example, if you touch it, it will smear away the powder coat. Um, the, the badass thing about this is if you screw up or if you drop it like I did already, I dropped one of these valve covers. All I did was pretty much throw more powder on top of it. And you're golden. You're good to go. You can't really ruin it. Unless you ruin it walking to the oven. So, let me toss these in the oven. Um, and then uh, I'll set you guys up on the tripod facing the oven. And you'll see a fast forward on how it looks when it's curing in there. Because once you put the part in there right the powder says it needs to be at 450 degrees once you put the part in there and then it says once you start seeing the color that you're you're trying to get out of the powder once you start seeing that it says to drop it down to 400 degrees but i drop it to 410 and then start the time for 20 minutes once you start seeing the color that you're supposed to be seeing with the powder coat so uh, let me set you guys up on a tripod and we'll put these uh, valve covers in and then um, then I'll show you guys a little bit about shooting like I probably shouldn't show you anything about shooting because it's super easy you can't screw it up but uh, I'll show you guys after those come out of the oven so let me let me toss those in there All right, well here is the finished piece that you guys saw transform while it was in the 
in the oven. So, as you guys are probably wondering, why is it smoking? Well, it's smoking because it was in the oven that's 400 plus degrees with fused valve covers, meaning there's oil in there, motor oil. So, uh, I don't know if you guys kind of saw, but I was kind of freaking out for a couple seconds until I figured, oh wait, there's oil in those things. So, it was blowing smoke like crazy out of the oven, um, but you gotta let it do its thing. Uh, keep in mind, when, when, uh, when your motor is running, uh, the, your motor doesn't run hotter than 200 degrees. If it runs higher than 200 degrees, well then, you know, your motor's gonna overheat. So, so yeah, so that's why they're smoking, because they're used. So if, you, if you had brand new valve covers, and you powder coated them, then they're, they're not gonna smoke as, they're not gonna smoke at all, like, like this. My other parts didn't smoke, because there's no oil on them. So, I'm gonna let these cool down before I take them off the tray, before I continue powder coating all of my other parts and I'm still in the middle of stripping my coil spring because I really want to get those done plus this piece because it goes on the motor right in the middle that holds the alternator the the bypass pulley for the AC and stuff like that so I want to get the, these other items cleaned up Unfortunately, it looks like I'm not going to be able to powder coat my upper A-arms. It bumps me, but whatever, as long as I got more chrome on my car, on my ride, I'll be happy. Because, uh, I don't know, like you, I don't know if, if for you guys, but I always wanted chrome stuff on my car, on my ride. And since they don't make anything for my ride at all, besides chrome pretty much ceramic covered aftermarket headers that's all they make chrome for my for my motor right there so so yeah um i said i was going to show you the prepping process but i don't think i am this is not much of a tutorial video um so what i'm using on my springs to clean them up is paint stripper they sell different types of paint stripper this is my first time using a spring stripper paint stripper um does this work good i guess it works good i have to apply it two or three times to the part that i'm working on and then it will completely take it off um i'm having trouble with the coil springs right now um i just need to power wash this and it's ready to go um but these are the only two items that i'm having a trouble cleaning off the paint if I have to, I just rub rub all that off and repaint them. But I've gotten this far. I'm not gonna turn back. So I'm gonna I'm shooting for powder coat on those. Well, um, in prepping, like I said, make sure you use prep oil once you're done de-rusting and taking off paint. So I said I was gonna show you how to apply the powder. Which is super easy. So let me um, let 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 those cool off before I take them off the tray, um, and then uh, I'll set you guys up on a tripod and I'll show you how I use that little gun. Be right back. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to spray this. Um, one thing you do want to do is wear a respirator because um, powder coat. It's uh, more harmful to you than paint. So I'm going to put a respirator on and then I'll put some words on the screen so I can tell you what I'm doing. In case you're wondering what those are, those are some plugs to keep the holes from getting any bigger because powder coat will, short, uh, I mean bigger, will make those holes smaller. I mean you could always take a, a, a drill and drill them out or whatever. But I'm using high temperature plugs. I got a bag that from Amazon that has multiple sizes. I'm not sure if they're multi-hues or one-time hues, but I guess we'll see here after we put it in the oven. 
Or I might just take them out before I put them in the oven. I don't know. We'll see. So let me put you guys down and then uh, let me hook up my uh, gun real quick. And that is it. it. Takes a few minutes to pretty much spray some powder coat on your piece, depending on what you're working on, depending how bad the edges are. So simple as that. And uh, hopefully, I remember to put the words underneath, like I said I was, uh, to say what I was doing since I had the respirator on. So let me finish powder coating all of my parts and we'll be back on how everything together looks. So I got some brake calipers, brackets, my fan, the other drum, and those three other items sitting outside. So let me get those done and uh, we'll be right back. Alright, so I got the majority done. Um, I have the fan to go and this um little mount bracket for the motor uh th this this is the piece this is a this is the big big piece right here that we just saw 
behind the fan and stuff like that. So I got m mainly everything done. The coil springs are done. And oh man, I'm gonna tell you right now, those were a pain to clean. Oh, I, I hate it. So I got the done. I got one grommet in. I sent the I sent my wife to go get another grommet so I can go ahead and slap these on my truck. You know, Monday. Uh, tomorrow is Father's Day, so uh, Father's Happy Father's Day to all of you guys watching and supporting the channel. Thank you so much. So have, hopefully you have a good day. And uh, yeah, but that's it. I mean, it looks really nice. You know, nice little reflection there. So I mean, I mean. And it's, it's almost like if I, every time I record, I'm almost, I'm almost always sick, you know. So my bad if I'm sniffing my boogers right now. So I got the calipers done, the drums done. My truck should be looking pretty good this summer. Unfortunately, I did not, I was, I was not able to do my upper control arms. Oh well, I'll just have to paint them really nice. Uh, but one thing I really wanted to get done was my coil springs. Those look great. Nice and shiny. Oh man. They look better in person, so once I pull them out, you know, it's because that yellow light makes everything look blurry. But that's, uh, that's pretty much it. Do I recommend powder coating? Yeah. If you want your ride to look good for a low price, even though it might not be real chrome, I, th I say go for it. Um, just, the, just the hair pulling part of it would be de-rusting or stripping off paint off of certain pieces. So, I mean, these were a paint to clean up. All I did was on these... Right here, these brackets, all I did was take a uh, wire wheel on the grinder to it, and then I mashed off all the touching surfaces, so, so I don't want to ruin anything. Because for, for those that don't know, um, a powder coat, it actually builds up, and it, it makes, it changes a, the, the depth or stuff like that so that's why you're supposed to cover holes and stuff like that so it doesn't so powder coat doesn't get in there and make the hole a, diff a smaller size than what it is so uh, that's enough me talking hopefully you like the short video hopefully it's short I don't know um, I'll put a link in the description down below so you guys can pick up this uh, the little setup that I got and I like it. I'm satisfied with it. I, I got I got nothing bad to say about it. You know, just make sure you get a good filter and the oil water separator. You know, can never be too careful. So, and I don't have a filter, anything on my compressor anyway. So that's that's great right there. So I'll put stuff in the description down below so you can pick those up if you want. And believe it or not. Uh, the the gun setup and all of my powders and uh, uh, including uh, the the plugs the high temperature plugs it all cost me around 250 or 280 something like that so so yeah not, not too much and I still have a lot left over and I only filled up that little thing twice and, and remember only fill it up about a quarter or less of the way don't fill it halfway or all the way up or else it won't work so so I only had to fill it up twice so far for all these pieces all right well I think I'm gonna go ahead and call it a video if you guys don't like it I don't blame you I didn't do much in this video you know, besides benefiting me. Um, if you guys want me to do a full-on 
how to video on pa uh, prepping and powder coating 100% comment down below and like this video and let me know that you guys want to see a full on video on how to do this um, so yeah if you don't then don't say nothing if you're satisfied with this little video but, but I know there's a ton more videos on YouTube already to show you how to powder coat well I all right, everybody, that's it for me for today. Happy Father's Day to everyone. And we'll see you on the next one. So like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.